Hey everyone, my name is Harrison. Uh, I run a company that builds virtual reality simulations for training, for education, for workforce development. We usually don't open up the curtain and show you guys what we're working on all the time, uh, but it's an initiative that we really want to start doing. So today we are going to start that series off with a very recent simulation, a virtual reality welding experience, uh, something that we built as a career exploration tool, something that ultimately we want to build out into more of a training tool. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to step up to my computer here and we're going to get right into it. Now this experience um, is running on our immersive learning platform. Uh, this is a device management, content management, and user management platform for anyone using virtual reality uh, for education or training. Um, it manages standalone headsets like the Quest, and it also manages PC VR uh, stations. Uh, so you can do both standalone and tethered VR with this tool. Now I've already got my device set up. I've got the content loaded onto my computer. My headset, which is gonna be the Quest Pro tethered, uh, is already ready to go. So without further ado, I'm just gonna fire this up and we're just gonna go right into it. Greetings. Welcome aboard the CS Discovery for your welding orientation. On this ship, they need help fixing up some anchor chain links. There's more than 30 types of welding, but for our purposes, we will use MIG welding today. First, let's get you properly equipped. Grab that welding helmet and bring it close to your face to put it on. So if it's not already immediately obvious, uh, we actually built this simulation uh, in a shipyard. And this whole thing is starting to take place in uh, the bow of one of these ships. Right then, grab the visor on your helmet to lower it. The visor is equipped with a dimming screen. Excellent. Let's raise the visor back up for now while we finish our setup. It's a good practice to raise the visor in between welds, to take a breather or to assess your progress. Let's prepare the generator for action. Press the power button to power up the generator. Set voltage to anything between 20 and 30 volts, then adjust the wire feed speed to be in the range of 200 to 250 inches per minute. Remember, settings may vary depending on the thickness of the material you're welding. See that cylinder behind the generator? Grab and twist the knob on it to turn on shielding gas supply. Shielding gas helps prevent air from reacting with welds and introducing defects like porosity or brittleness. So believe it or not, uh, twisting mechanics in VR are actually really hard to make uh, feel nice. So our team's done a ton of work to try to get that twisting motion feel good and, and natural. You are all set and we also really like to do freeform stuff, so we don't just force it into, uh, into your hand. We let users kind of position it however they want. Now, bring the welding gun close to the I-beam and press the trigger to make a weld. You know what? I might have messed up my clamp. There we go. There we go. Cool. Funny enough, if you don't put your welding mask down, you actually can barely see what you're doing. Excellent work. You're now ready to weld. The team put a ton of attention to detail in this, so you could actually see, if you look closely at it, uh, the metal has those burn marks. And then if you watch with the mask on, what happens, you can actually see that weld. See how it looks hot, and then it cools down? So try to find ways to make it look as realistic as possible and honestly like that's one of the reasons why we still love PC VR it's just because you can get it to look so much nicer than standalone headsets that's not always gonna be the case but that's definitely still the case right now series an advanced team of weld bots were sent to fix these pipes for flow of steam through the ship my scans tell me 
a pipe cracked open and there's a steam leak. Try turning that valve to see where the steam leak is. Get bored these turning mechanics. Welding over a leak might result in contaminated oh, yeah. welds. Now you know where the leak is. Ooh, that hurts my eyes. Oh yeah, my helmet's not down. Okay. To check if the leak is fixed, right, try so. turning the valve again. When you think you're done, let's head up the stairs and open the bulkhead door to get to the deck. Alright, I'm a little more confident with that. Hey, no leaks. Open that. We also love to do a lot of like really small subtle animations like you just saw like gears turn there. Now I'm on the deck of the ship. <laughs> cool. Welcome on deck of the CS Discovery. On the workbench is the final detachable link. A single chain link consists of two separate halves. These two halves are securely joined together using a centerpiece called the Kenta Shackle. Let's start by inserting the taper pin into the Kenta Shackle. Taper pin, I'm guessing that is this thing. Alright, let's put that in there. Oh, that was easier Excellent. than I thought. <laughs> now weld both the ends of the taper pin you just inserted. Also weld on the sides of the Kenta Shackle. Okay, so three spots in that one. Cool. There we go. Ooh, right. Okay, clamp is in place. We're good to go. Last weld angle. Oh, it tells me my angle. So if I go on too much of an angle, you can see that real time. Okay, this one next. This is a tricky spot. I think we're doing good. All right, don't need that anymore. Brush. Great job on those chains. You can stay here on the ship and get some more practice. That's fun. Cool. I'm just gonna explore real quick. Yeah, our team loves to hide little fun Easter eggs around here. Yep, swimming robot. <laughs> what else we got here? Got a window washing robot. <laughs> they got the squeegee sound. All right, cool. I think we're done. That was welding in a nutshell. Uh, again, 
as it stands right now, that is really just meant to be like a career exploration experience. So anybody in high school, anybody in these employment centers, workforce development sites, anybody considering joining a welding program uh, could try that quickly and just really get a quick sense of what it feels like to be a welder. So that is one of many uh, of our career exploration experiences that we have. This experience over time, we do hope to actually turn it into a training experience. So quick special shout out to Craig Scott, uh, who was our subject matter expert on this experience. Uh, he's a welding instructor in the UK, uh, and he was super, super uh, helpful to actually helping us understand what it's like to be a welder. And if anybody's interested in this simulation or other simulations that we have built, feel free to reach out and we can uh, see how we can get you a copy of one. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time.